The dazzling world of flowers isn't just about aesthetics, they're nature's matchmakers, orchestrating the sexual reproduction of flowering plants. Here's a slightly longer breakdown. The players, one, the flower, the reproductive unit, housing both male and female organs. Stamen, male produces pollen grains containing sperm cells. Pistil, female comprises the stigma, pollen receiving surface, style, connecting tube, and ovary, containing ovules with egg cells. Two pollen grains, tiny particles carrying male gametes, sperm cells. Three pollinators, animals, bees, butterflies, or wind that help transfer pollen. The steps, one, pollination, pollen grains land on the stigma, either from the same flower, self-pollination, or another, cross-pollination, preferred for genetic diversity. Two, fertilization, a pollen grain germinates, forming a tube that grows down the style, reaching the ovule. Three, double fertilization, unique to flowering plants, a, one sperm fertilize the egg cell, forming the embryo, future plant. B. The other sperm fuses with other cells, forming the endosperm, nutrient source for the embryo. 4. Seed and fruit development. A. The ovule develops into a seed with the embryo, endosperm and protective seed coat. B. The ovary matures into a fruit, housing and dispersing the seeds. 5. Seed dispersal. Fruits and seeds are scattered by wind, animals, or water, allowing for potential germination in new locations.